Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm doing my week 2 predictions. Um, sorry I haven't been uploading, dude. I've just, I got a little bit of a bad grade. So, um, I had to like, you know, fix that grade by redoing a test. So, I've been kind of like studying for that and stuff. So, haven't been able to make any videos. But, good grade now. Got a 4 on it. I originally got literally a 1 on the test. Now I got a 4. So, I'm not getting like a D or a low C anymore. It's probably a B or uh, maybe A. I don't know. Let's see. Um, so, yeah. Week 2 predictions. Let's get it. Raiders and Steelers. I have the Steelers winning this. This Steelers defense is literally the only reason they're even going to be good this year. Big Ben, he's practically washed, if I'm being honest. Um, Derek Carr. Um... People are overreacting. Derek Carr, he, he does get credit. You know, he did play good. But uh, people need to stop overreacting just because he threw 400 yards in the game. And uh, just because he beat... Just because he beat the Ravens in week one. Week one. Like, people are legitimately action, acting like this was literally like a playoff game or something, bro. Like, he beat him. He beat the Ravens in week one. We all know if this was the playoffs, the Ravens would easily sweep them by 20-plus. Let's be honest. Like, come on. Come on, give me the Steelers. Their defense is just too good. 49ers and Eagles, I don't need to talk about this. This is easy to 49ers. 49ers are going to be a very good team. Like, I li I really do think this could be, like, the 2019 49ers again. Like, they're, I wouldn't say they're, I don't know if they're Super Bowl contenders, but they're going to be close. The only team... The only, like, really way they're going to be really, like, not a playoff team this year is really just if they have a whole bunch of injuries like they did last year. Besides that, come on. Give me the 49ers by, like, 20-plus in this game. Texans and Browns, come on. Texans are a top-five worst team in the league. The Browns are literally easily sweeping past this team. Um, Broncos and Jags. Broncos, they just, they have a pretty good all-around team, if I'm being honest. Um... Uh, come on, man. Ima just imagine picking the Jags to beat the Broncos. I mean, like, this game, that honestly is going to be one of the most boring games of the year. But, um, like, this is just a game that I would rather, like, I would rather, like, just, I would rather literally, like, s I don't know what I would rather, I would rather do anything than just watch that game. That game is extremely boring. Saints and Panthers. <sighs> Give me the Saints. Christian McCaffrey is just going to be carrying the Panthers all year. Um, like, the Panthers are just complete trash team, to be honest with you. Like, Christian McCaffrey is literally going to be carrying their team. He's, like, the only good player they really have, let's be honest. They, they have, like, a few good wide receivers. Um, but besides that, their their team is just nothing without Christian McCaffrey. They proved last year. So, yeah. Um, Rams and Colts, give me the Rams. The Rams are going to be a dangerous team this year. They're not Super Bowl contenders. People need to stop overreacting with that. But, um... <clears throat> yeah, they're not Super Bowl contenders, but they're going to be a good team. Like, the only thing that's really stopping them from probably winning the Super Bowl is if Matt Stafford... Like, if Matt Stafford was just good against, like, playoff teams, like, he would be really good. Like, like look at his record and look at his stats versus playoff teams throughout his career. Especially over, like, the Lions and stuff. Like, I know he had zero help, but still, like, this dude legitimately had, like, some good receivers. This dude actually had, some years this man had a good O-line. Some years this man had some of the best receiving core in the league. And this dude still didn't win one playoff game in, like, 12 seasons. Like, come on, man. People need to stop overrating him. He's not a top five, he's not even close to, he's really not a top ten quarterback. People need to stop overreacting with that. So, yeah. Come on, give me the Rams. Bills, Dolphins. This is not close. Bills are winning. They're coming back. They're having a bounce back game after that horrible Josh Allen performance. Just a horrible overall performance by the Bills in week one. Give me the Bills. Pats and Jets, come on. Jets literally are not scoring more than seven. Honestly, the Jets are not scoring. They probably are not going to score ten points in this game. Pats have a good defense. Pats are just have way better offense. They're just a way better team. Give me the Patriots. Bengals and Bears. That's I hate to say it because I really, like, I don't know. Like, I really don't care about the Bears, but I honestly hate their team. 
Like, they just had some of the most annoying fan base bases of all time in sports. Um, like, they're, they're honestly, like, they might be more annoying than the Cowboys. I know that, that might seem like kind of a dumb thing to say, but it really is true. Like, like, I know they're right most of the time when they, like, they're always, like, just the people that, like, talk trash about Rodgers and the Packers, like, especially, like, just, especially the people on TikTok, like, just so annoying, dude, like, shut up. It's just so annoying to watch, but it's whatever. So, yeah, I'm gonna pick the Bears as much as I don't like to say it, Bears are gonna win that game. Bucks and Falcons, come on, it's easily the Falcons. I'm just kidding, it's the Bucks. Bucks are winning by 50-plus in that game. Vikings and Cardinals. Give me the Cardinals. Vikings, they're probably going to be... They're going to have a comeback game. But they're still not winning the Cardinals. Uh, I still have the Cardinals winning. I still have Kyler Murray playing like an MVP candidate. Give me the Cardinals. Have D-Hop having a good game. Yep, the Cardinals are winning that. Titans and Seahawks. I actually have the Titans starting off the season 0-2. I have the Seahawks winning. The C- Like, literally... Russell Wilson, literally, like, the first two weeks, like, the first, like, let's be honest, the first, like, eight weeks of the NFL season, this man is literally the GOAT quarterback. This dude turns into the greatest QB of all time. Like, literally last year, his first five year, five games, he threw, like, 20 touchdowns. He had, like, three picks in five games. Um, like, just, the, like, there's no way anyone's gonna be able to stop Russell Wilson, like, in the first few games of the year. Obviously, he's going to fall off after, like, week 7 or week 8. Give me the Seahawks winning that. So, yeah. Cowboys, Chargers. Come on, man. I got the Chargers. got Keenan Allen. got Jay Herbert. Just got all-around good players. Got one of the best route runners in the league, Keenan Allen. And you just have an all-around better team. They have a better defense than the Cowboys. I'm not pick. There's no way I'm picking the Cowboys to win that game. This, I honestly could see the Cowboys winning that by a fluke, but give me, give me the Chargers, man. Jay Herbert's gonna have a good game. Give me him. All right, last two Chiefs and Ravens. The Ravens really cannot beat the Raiders. That's kind of dog. I don't really know what to say about that. Um, again, people are overreacting about the Raiders, but um, again. It, it it was just week one, but still, you blew a 14-point lead to the Raiders. I know it's week one and whatever, but at the same time, there's no way you're being the Chiefs, man. Chiefs are probably going to their third straight Super Bowl this season. Um, They might win the Super Bowl. I doubt it. I, I, honestly, I think the Bucks are easily going to win it. But, um, yeah, I, I have the Ravens. Losing this game, I have the Chiefs winning by 10 plus in this game. I literally would bet money that they win by 10 plus points in this game. So, yep, Chiefs are beating the Ravens. Last game Packers and Lions. This is at Packers, this is at Lambu and stuff. Give me the Packers, man. Packers are destroying the Lions by 58 points, man. It's not even close. Rodgers is going to throw four or five touchdowns this game. Gonna have a comeback game. People are still people are all sudden calling this man a washed QB. Can you please stop being delusional for five seconds? That's all you need to be. Please just stop. Just stop. Just just please stop. I don't know if he played bad because he just wanted to get traded or something he wants to get out of there immediately. But you guys need to quit the overreactions. He's gonna be an MVP candidate this year. He's gonna throw thirty plus touchdowns. He's gonna have probably the best touchdown to interception ratio. He's still going to put up phenomenal numbers in the playoffs like he's been doing. But again, his defense will choke every year like they do. So that's my week two NFL predictions. Hopefully I write. Um, I don't even know how much I got right or wrong last week when I predicted um, the predictions for week one. But um, yeah, those are the predictions. Um, so yeah, I'll probably come back to see if I got all these right. We'll see. Peace out, like, and subscribe. And new videos are coming about players. Peace.